Hey everybody, Ryan and Dawn here with our latest in our Learn to Play video series. This time we'll be teaching you how to play junk art made by the folks over at Pretzel Game. Um, how would you quickly describe junk art? Uh, junk art, very quickly, is a you are artists building art out of junk, and it is a stacking uh, physical game where you have these pieces that you have to balance onto each other to create artwork and each city has its own sets of specific rules and the winning requirement. Yeah, so you're going to see it's a lot of fun. You play at three different cities per round and it's pretty quick to play a couple of rounds back to back to back. We had a whole lot of fun. All right, so we're gonna teach you how to play and then you'll be able to watch us play with our friends Joe and Angel in this learn to play junk art brought to you by our friends at the Bearded Bird Brewing Company. To set up the game, first give each player one base. You can set the base on any side that you like. Next, set aside the cactus and special star cards. These are only used in specific cities. Put the junk pieces in the middle of the play area. You may want to put them in the box lid if your table is not the levelest surface as some of those pieces will roll. Shuffle the rest of the junk art deck together and place it face down in reach of the players. Keep the fan tokens and measuring tape nearby. From the city's deck, you want to leave out the Nashville card. This is a special city card that requires another game. To set up your world tour, shuffle the city cards that support the number of players that will be playing. This number is indicated on the left of the card. Flip over the three city cards. These will be the three cities you visit during your tour. Each city has its own set of specific rules. There are symbols on the card to help indicate what those rules are and a full explanation in the rule book. Each city also indicates what the exhibition end conditions are. Make sure you're familiar with the city rules before you start the game. There are a few base terms and rules for placing pieces and fallen pieces. The active piece is the piece that you are placing. Your structure is all the pieces on the base, including the base. When placing an active piece, you can use one or two hands. You may hold the base with one hand. You may use the active piece to move pieces already on your structure. Those pieces must remain in contact with the structure at all times. You place pieces one at a time, even if you have multiple pieces to place during your turn. If the active piece immediately falls off your structure after you place it, you can pick it up and place it again. Fallen pieces are any pieces that fall from the structure and touch the table. The owner of the piece puts it into their fallen piece pile. However, if you cause a piece to fall from someone else's structure, like if you bump the table, you keep the fallen piece. Now, if there are any city-specific rules that conflict with these rules, follow the city rules for that city. For all cities, if the last junk piece is taken from the pile, the exhibition immediately ends. After each city, fan tokens are gained and the start player card moves to the player with the fewest fans. Okay, let's look at two example cities, Paris and Monaco. These are two of the three cities suggested for your first game. Each city has a goal. In Paris, it's to not be eliminated. This happens when one player has three or more fallen pieces and that also triggers the exhibition end. To first set up Paris, you use one base for all players and deal three junk art cards to each player. Each city has specific turn orders. In Paris, you choose a card and play it in front of the next player and then draw a new card. That player must add the matching piece to the structure, then plays moves to the next player, the one who placed that piece. Each city also details how fans are awarded. In Paris, whomever is not eliminated gets three fans. All right, let's look at Monaco, where the goal is to have the most placed pieces and you get a bonus for tallest structure. Each player is dealt 10 junk art cards face down. The player turn in Monaco is as follows. The start player says go, and all players flip the first card from their deck at the same time. Each player finds the matching piece and places it on their structure. After your piece is placed, draw your next card and place and repeat. No need to wait for others to place theirs. You want to be the first to place all 10 pieces. 
In Monaco, any fallen piece must be replaced one at a time in any order before continuing. When one player has placed their last piece, the exhibition ends. Fans are awarded based on the number of pieces you placed. And whomever built the tallest structure, this is where the measuring tape comes in handy, gains a bonus fan. Once you play through the three cities, total up your fans, and whomever has the most wins. That's junk art. Now let's jump into the gameplay. One, two, three, go. go. So there you go, that's junk art. Thanks again to Bearded Bird Brewing Company for sponsoring these videos. If you're in the Hampton Roads area, you can stop by and play games. Every Tuesday is Tabletop Tuesday, and some of those Tuesdays will be there teaching folks how to play. Yep, absolutely. So if you've played junk art, let us know what you think about it, some of your tactics and strategies. And if you filled out any of the custom cards where you create your own city, let us know what those win conditions and the rules are, and we will try them out next time that we play. So until next time, I'm Ryan. And I'm Dawn. And we'll see you on the next Learn to Play by Roll for Initiative. Bye. Bye.